What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to upgrade your device up to iOS 13. So if you guys don't know, iOS 13 beta one was released today for developers. So if you're not a developer and you don't have a developer account, then I'm gonna show you guys how to update for free. So Apple has done something that's made it a little bit more difficult to upgrade. They basically gotten rid of the developer beta profile that we would usually just download and install into our device and then we could get the beta software over the air. Well, you can't do that this time. Whether the reason was to deter people from downloading and installing that weren't developers, which is probably what it was, or if there was another reason, you can't do it. So we have to do it the old fashioned way, basically plugging in your device, going with iTunes, downloading the IPSW, and then getting it installed. So I'm just gonna walk you through the entire process because I had some major issues. So I'm gonna make sure that it's all clear as day for everyone so that you can get your device upgraded if you want to. Obviously do not upgrade if you plan on jailbreaking. I shouldn't have to say that anymore, but I figured I'd throw it in. So the first thing that you wanna do is plug your device into your Mac computer. So this apparently does not work with Windows PCs. It's only going to work on Macs. So you have to have a Mac. So first of all, plug your device into your Mac and then turn off Find My iPhone. You can do that just by going into your settings, tapping on your name, tapping on iCloud, scrolling down here to Find My iPhone, tap on that, put in your passcode or your password, and then turn it off. The next thing that you wanna do is download the IPSW. I will put a link in the description below for you guys to download the IPSW. Just make sure that you're getting it for the correct device. Now the next thing that you wanna do is download Xcode onto your Mac. I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to do that as well. There's also been some talk that you don't need in the entire Xcode because Xcode is rather large. I think it's like four and a half gigs or something like that. What people have said is you just need the mobile device package, which I have right here. I actually haven't tested this, but I will link it in the description below if you guys wanna download that and try it out before downloading Xcode. If you download this and it doesn't work, then just download Xcode and it should still work. Now, of course, before you do anything, make sure you back up your device. If you haven't backed up your device, do that now. And once that's complete, continue this process. All right, so now that your device is plugged in, you have Find My iPhone off and you have the IPSW as well as Xcode installed, you just wanna click on the little phone that's usually right here and it's gonna bring you to this page. So at this point, all you wanna do is hold down the option key, click check for update, and then point it to the IPSW that you downloaded. So we're just gonna do that. And then you'll get the little pop-up. iTunes will update your phone to iOS 13 and verify the update with Apple. We'll go ahead and update that and just let it do its thing. Obviously keep in mind that this is going to be beta software. That means that if you have only one device and you're upgrading on your daily driver, then you're probably gonna have some issues. You're definitely gonna run into some bugs. So if you can't handle that, then I wouldn't recommend upgrading. But if you have a spare device or you, know, you like to test beta software, then just follow the tutorial and you'll be up and running in no time. So if we go ahead and swipe up, open up settings, just tap not now, we'll go into general, software, oops, that is not what I meant to do, about, and iOS 13.0 beta one. So, we finally got there, it took a while, but we're finally on iOS 13. So if you guys have any issues whatsoever, make sure to let me know in the comments below. I ran into a lot of issues, so I might be able to help you guys out if you do run into some problems. And if you guys see some issues that you know how to fix, make sure you help each other out because I know a lot of people are trying to get on iOS 13 right now. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys wanna see more iOS 13 videos, like maybe a top feature video or hidden features video, make sure you hit that like button and I'll see you guys in the next video.